All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Fanon. And in this video, we're going to talk about Terrence Crawford's reaction and man, he talking bad about boxing fans right in the wake of Gervonta Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia, at least in my opinion, embarrassing the dude. But let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the 135 pound and the 147 pound division at the same time, uh, because there's been big developments that have taken place in both where uh, mega fights happened and did not happen. And right after a mega fight happens, one of the participants in the mega fight that did not happen lashes out at boxing fans and says some pretty um, pretty bad things about us because <laughs> I will include myself in that. But before I get into the details of it, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we release more videos. And if you are a longtime subscriber and supporter like uh, like Deborah Booker, uh, like John Boy, uh, and all the other good, really big time supporters in the channel. Thank you guys so much for your support. Sorry I didn't have time to pick out a unique viewer this particular time because I'm just, you know, man, what can I say? Let's talk about it. <laughs> so Terrence Crawford takes, the, takes to Twitter and says, basically does exactly what a whole lot of people have said that Terrence Crawford will do, and he said that and have said it for a while, which is this. Terrence Crawford says there's a whole bunch of sad people. To be specific, what he says, he says, the real flex is I'm living life happy, paid, and a lot of y'all are sad, jealous, broke, and miserable. Let me repeat this. The flex is, I am living life happy, paid, and a lot of y'all are sad, jealous, broke, and miserable. And he laughs. Now, what would that, what would he be laughing about? Laughing about all of the people that are still upset with him not taking one of the biggest fights in boxing against Errol Spence Jr. And a whole lot of people not buying the excuses that he gave for not taking the fight. Now, they do this right on top of somebody else or two other fighters doing something that he refused to do and something that should they that he and Errol Spence Jr. and their camp should have gotten done much more easily. And that is the fight that has taken place between Gervonta Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia. Just last Man, it couldn't have been four months ago. And if you go, if you're a member of the channel or if you come to the channel often, you would know that three or four months ago, I was saying, yeah, I really believe the Errol Spence Jr. Terrence Crawford fight is going to happen. And I do not believe that the Gervonta Davis, Ryan Garcia fight is ever going to happen. And the reason that I thought that, that, uh, Terrence Crawford would fight Errol Spence Jr. is because I thought that Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. both wanted to fight each other and that they wanted to fight each other um, for the, obviously what would be the biggest payday of their career and what would be one of the biggest fight that either one of them could have possibly had to this point in their career. And the reason why I did not believe that Ryan Garcia and, and Gervonta Davis would be fighting each other is because Ryan Garcia is a big draw and golden boy had not worked with the PBC before. And you still had that other side of the street type of stuff, which is very real in the boxing in boxing present. But in the case of Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford was his own boss, right? So since he's his own boss, then there shouldn't be any issue. You get a good deal with, with, with the PBC, you make the fight and you keep it pushing and we all get to see the fight we want to see. 
But what winds up happening? What winds up happening is that the guy who had to cross the street and the, with the promoter that didn't want the fight in Ryan Garcia was actually able to get his promoter in a situation where he did it. Now, for those that believe that that Gervonta Davis, you know, was, you know, be, would be held up from fighting a Ryan Garcia because Floyd Mayweather Jr. didn't want the fight. Well, Ryan, Floyd Mayweather Jr., according to at least the tweets coming out from Gervonta Davis, Ryan Garcia freed himself up from the entanglement of Floyd Mayweather Jr. So in this case, you have two fighters, Ryan Garcia and Gervonta Davis, who bucked what their promoters wanted to do and managed to get two wet networks, uh, Showtime and DAZN, to work with each other, right? Meanwhile, you have Terrence Crawford, who is his own boss, right? Does not have a promoter in the way, goes about a negotiation with 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 uh, Errol Spence Jr. that makes it sound like he had absolutely no intention on making that big fight, right? So you got Ryan Garcia and Gervonta Davis giving fight fans what they want, which is a fight that they actually want to see. While Terrence Crawford, apparently Terrence Crawford, was more focused on what his legacy is, what he wants to do, what he accomplished. And as a result, you get tweets like this. The real flex is I'm living uh, my happy life paid and a lot of y'all sad, jealous, broken, miserable. Okay, if you're happy and paid, then there shouldn't have been a problem fighting with Errol Spence Jr. But I want to understand why exactly it is that Terrence Crawford would say to a group of people that, that he's literally asking to pay $40 to see him fight David Av Avenation. Why you would call a group of people that are interested in seeing you fight sad, jealous, broke, and miserable. Like, it just is an attitude with, it's just an attitude with Terrence Crawford that just tells you that dude makes me believe that he would just thumb the nose at people. He would just not take the Errol Spence Jr. fight just to thumb his nose at people. Just to be like, nah, 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 nah. I'm living a happy life. You don't get what you want, right? It's just, it's amazing to me. But that's his attitude. And that attitude, like people have been saying pretty much since the time that this fight, when he walked away from the fight, that his attitude the entire time and everything he said this entire time points to the fact that he did not want to prove that he was the best. While you got Ryan Garcia, and I'll just oppose Terrence Crawford to Ryan Garcia, because Ryan Garcia is in a situation that is much more hectic than than Terrence Crawford's is because Ryan Garcia is already somebody that can be a big draw and make good money in fights without fighting Germonte. He could go about his business at 140 pounds and do a Jake Paul type of move and just fight any type of person that he wants to fight and have a bunch of casual fans, young, young women, young kids that, that are following him on Twitter or Instagram and or Instagram. Just, just watch him, right? The whole thing is just, it's, it's the attitude, man. It's the attitude. And I do, that's why I'm saying I do not, like, I'm not going to say that I know for sure that Terrence Crawford did not believe he could beat Errol Spence Jr. However, he is the type of person, it seems, as if everything is not his, is his way, goes his way, he's going to take his ball and go home. And if you guys think that this, this fight against David Avanti and is going to pay him more money than the fight with Errol Spence Jr., like I, I got a bridge to sell you. It's just amazing, man, how this whole thing has gone down and how everything got turned on his head because of the desire of the fighters. In this, in the particular, these two fights that we're talking about, it seems to me that you had three guys that wanted to make two of the biggest fights, the two biggest fights that we could make this year. There are three guys that wanted to make it and another guy that wanted to make it if everything was perfect and worked what, absolutely perfect for him. But even then, was more, would probably have been willing to thumb his nose at everybody else and just say no. But like I said, I know y'all may think that that is a polarizing opinion, but it's my opinion. And you can take it or leave it. Let me know what you think in the, in, in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.